If you're a Houston Texans fan, you have my empathy because one of the hardest things to do in the entire NFL is get a solid, not even a Pro Bowl, but a solid quarterback and to pair that solid quarterback with a top five wide receiver. And here the Texans were, they were able to do both. They were able to get Deshaun Watson and they already had DeAndre Hopkins from a beautiful pick that they made in the 2013 NFL draft. And somehow, some way, they decided to move on from DeAndre Hopkins and they pissed off Deshaun Watson. And this team is now so bad that even though Deshaun Watson had arguably the best season out of all quarterbacks in the NFL, the Houston Texans were still the third worst team in the NFL. But hey, at least they're gonna get the number three pick in the NFL draft, right? No, they traded that pick a year ago for Laramie Tunsil, which they had to pay a pretty nice contract extension to as well. And this entire situation is fairly ugly at this point. Now, before we get to the content, I wanted to let you guys know that we're giving away a PlayStation 5 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. Whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you have entered for a chance to win a PS5. On top of that, if you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, you'll have additional entries in our PS5 giveaway. And I also wanted to shout out our latest members of Mike Mafia. You guys have really gone in on trying to support us. So a huge shout out to Forrest Monster, Mr. Wolf, Alan Cardwell, Chad Herdal Torres, Victor Rivas, Arthur Jordan, Kush FN, Driven to Success, and Jonah Signs. Thank you guys so much for contributing to my ability to do this full time. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I apologize for the drawn out intro. Let's get straight to the video, bro. So for those of you guys that don't know, Deshaun Watson has not been very happy with the Houston Texans. This is because Deshaun Watson feels like he's being manipulated the same way Robin Hood manipulated the stock market today. You see, when the Houston Texans were entering the off season, they clearly needed a new head coach and they clearly needed a new general manager. And well, the only player on the team that matters at this point, at least the Houston Texans, is Deshaun Watson. I know you guys are gonna mention J.J. Watt, but J.J. Watt might get traded. He gave his best years to Houston. The NFL isn't necessarily a place of loyalty. The Houston Texans are Deshaun Watson's team. He's the face of that franchise, although I have tremendous love and respect for J.J. Watt. Deshaun Watson's the only individual on the Houston Texans roster that matters. So subsequently, he expected that the Houston Texans and Cal McNair would come up to him and ask him for his opinion on who they should pursue for a general manager and for a head coach. And well, Cal McNair said that he will do that. And then he turned around and hired Nick Casario. Now this rubbed Deshaun Watson the wrong way because he was told that, hey, he is going to be able to be consulted on these matters. And well, he wasn't. This caused him to get so upset that he decided to demand a trade. Now, this demanding of the trade didn't officially get announced until today. And that's because I guess Deshaun Watson was waiting for the Houston Texans to announce their new head coach, which is David Culley, who already assembled a coaching staff that personally I'm not too crazy about. The offensive coordinator is Tim Kelly. The defensive coordinator is Lovey Smith. He's coming back. And an assistant is going to be Josh McCown. Not exactly the greatest head coaching staff. Not a lot of flashy names for all you know it could pay off. But upon learning this, Deshaun Watson decided to actually vocalized that he wanted to demand a trade. And this comes from Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter. So here's what Ian says. Sources, Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson has requested a trade from Houston. He has a no trade clause and by virtue of his contract would decide what places would be acceptable. Ian continues to say that the hiring of Texans head coach David Culley doesn't change Deshaun Watson's mind. He wants out and can determine where he goes. Houston has known for a few weeks that Watson wanted out teams have been calling and attempting to trade for him, those calls will continue, despite Houston saying that they do not have interest in that. While the Texans finalize the hire of David Culley and plan to officially introduce him tomorrow, his first task involves the QB, 
who wants out. So the way this goes down is Deshaun Watson has a no trade clause in his contract. So the Houston Texans, if they don't want to cooperate, they could essentially force Deshaun Watson into a retirement because Watson technically has to play for the Texans. And if the Texans don't trade him, then he's probably going to hold out. And if Houston does elect to do that, I'm assuming that they're not going to be the greatest free agent destination because you don't want to play for a team that is going to hold you there against your will. This video is mainly a formality. This isn't anything new that you didn't know before. Deshaun Watson is completely done with the Houston Texans organization, and he's fearful that his career is going to mirror what Matthew Stafford's career was. We all know who Matthew Stafford is. We don't know how good Matthew Stafford is. We don't ever talk about how good Matthew Stafford is. Why? Because the guy's only played in three playoff games and hasn't won a single one because he hasn't really had a good team placed around him, except for Calvin Johnson. Now, if you're a Houston Houston Texans fan and you're really attached to Deshaun Watson, you have no choice but to trade him. Even if he didn't want to get traded and if he didn't request a trade, you need to trade Deshaun Watson because you have nothing on your entire team. You don't have any assets currently. You don't have a first round pick this year. If you run it back with the same team, you could expect a similar result as this past year because this past year was Deshaun Watson playing at his best and you still were the third worst team in the entire NFL. Now, granted, you fired your head coach and general manager in the middle of the season, but if you take a look at NFL history, there's never been a scenario like this. It's very rare for a player of Deshaun Watson's caliber at Deshaun Watson's age to demand a trade when he's just 25 years old and is clearly a dominant player in the NFL. So as a result, it may be a little bit difficult to get the adequate return for him because if I'm any NFL team that is desperate for a quarterback, I would definitely consider giving a Herschel Walker sized offer for a quarterback like Deshaun Watson, just simply based off of how difficult it is to successfully draft a quarterback. You look at teams like the Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts, teams that have a remarkable team at every single position except the quarterback situation. If the Bears had a good quarterback, I had no doubt in my mind that at least be making trips to the NFC Championship every year. And I feel the same way about the Indianapolis Colts. But the problem for both of these teams is they haven't had good quarterback play in quite some time. So as a result, you could expect a lot of teams to offer multiple first round picks in order to get a player like Deshaun Watson on the roster. However, as Houston decides to drag this on more and more, as the offseason turns into a holdout, you may see the Houston Texans beginning to lose some leverage. So the problem with trying to figure out who Deshaun Watson's going to get traded to is it's a game of leverage between Deshaun Watson, the Houston Texans, and whoever decides to offer a trade for him. But obviously, the teams that are in the best position to trade for a player like Deshaun Watson are the teams that have the most assets this year. Teams that come into my mind is automatically, I would just put Jacksonville there as a honorable mention, but I don't think they're going to even offer up anything for Deshaun Watson. When you have the opportunity to draft Trevor Lawrence and still keep all of your picks, you get Trevor Lawrence on a rookie contract. You're not even going to touch Deshaun Watson. But then you look at the New York Jets, who are kind of like in a similar situation as the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have a quarterback that's on a rookie scale contract for one more year in Sam Darnold, who hasn't fulfilled his potential, who wasn't really given the best situation to succeed, but they do have tremendous assets in order to get Deshaun Watson. They could offer two first round picks and Sam Darnold, maybe a second and maybe a first the next year. That's a pretty freaking good haul if you're the Houston Texans, but I don't imagine the New York Jets going for that. Then you have the Miami Dolphins, another team that's fairly complete that owns the Houston Texans first round pick this year with additional first round picks from the Minka Fitzpatrick trade and just their own natural first round pick. And they have enough to swing a pretty nice trade for Deshaun Watson. Should they even want to include Tua Tonga Viola as well? Problem is Houston isn't really that enamored by Tua. And I can't imagine once again, the Miami Dolphins deciding to give up that many assets for Deshaun Watson. So the question is, what would you do if you were a NFL GM for your favorite team that saw Deshaun Watson on the trade block? What would you give up in order to get him on your roster? And would you give up enough assets to get the Houston Texans to agree to a trade without completely mortgaging your team's future? And how would you do that? Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping her mic 
Until our next upload.